Don't see we're entering this little uh, break, I suppose, between the, the kind of standard under 18s Premier League South and, and the chance to go in this elite league. I was going to say you've got a bit of downtime, but here we are at the training ground, uh, you know, using the time to have a look at the boys. Yeah, um, you know, we've taken the opportunity to have a look at some 16s who've done very well uh, on trial. So we just have a look at those, how they cope with playing against Scullis uh, in in house games. So it's interesting. And I guess you know, the, if we look at the, the first half of, half of your season, if you like, there's sort of two elements to it. One is the uh, the, one, the one that stands out to everyone, which is how we've got on in the league. But then we'll, so we'll focus on that first before we talk about you know the more important part, which is the development. So you know, finishing third in, in, in our tables are a real good reflection on our boys. Yeah, it's credit. You know, the, um, we always look at the performance levels of the uh, of the lads, and uh, the performance levels have been you know, consistently uh, consistently high, um, which has really resulted in. Uh, you know, a few of them uh, again at the 23s, which is the aim of the game. Yeah. And, and, and it's really good to have finished in that top four, you know, well, third as it was, but because it means that, you know, in these last seven games now, we've got, you know, the likes of, you know, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal. Real credit to be in that bracket, you know, to be amongst, you know, to be talked about in those terms as being alongside some of the richest and most, you know, clubs in the, in the whole of Europe, really. Yeah, you know, the, the academy, uh, you know, uh, was built, you know, with, with him and God bless him. Um, and now it's carried on by Lee, Lee Heron and uh, we've got support from the first team staff. Um, yeah, you know, the, the 23s are in their top league, which is fantastic, playing against the best young players in the country and, and so are we, you know, so it'll be interesting to see our, our you know, pitting our wits against those type of teams. Uh, and, and what I'd like more than anything is for a lot of the players who've got us there to be uh, pitting their wits in the 23s and trying to knock on the first team door, that would be the, the ideal sort of uh, scenario. Well, absolutely. I mean, you've brought us very naturally onto the next point, really, which is as great as it's been to have been so successful for the under 18s. You know, the real develop, the, the real focus, I beg your pardon, is on this development. And, and and you know, you must be so pleased to see so many boys from your age group stepping up to that under 23s. I think at latest count, 10 boys have played. You know, and some of them are very regularly as well involved in the under 23s already. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a good age group. The first years have come up and really pushed the second years and. Uh, you know, it, it, it's good that so many first years have had uh, a blooding, if you like. Last year we only had a couple play in the uh, team, and this year it's been uh, almost a whole team. Um, so that's going to bode well for next year, hopefully. You know, when we start that season off, you know, they should be much better prepared. And, you know, there's even lads first years getting into the um, into the 23s, which is, re- you know, really, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's not very common. And all of them, will, their eventual kind of uh, ambition will be to, to break into that first team squad, and, and it must be really satisfying to you to be able to look, you know, point over at the next field and say, "There's Jordan Nabita, there's you know Liam Kelly, these are the boys who have uh, who've trod that pathway already." Yeah, you know, that's the whole aim of the uh, academy system. That's why you know so much money is invested in, in youth these days, and uh, you know we we've got a a real good job to, to, to get as many lads into there as, as possible and you know the first team are really supportive here they um, you know hold little in-service uh, get-togethers you know to explain what they're trying to do so it filters down and uh, you know Brian Teverden you know has just filtered it down to the 23 staff to the 18 staff uh, you know through the academy manager of course of, of what they, they would like the patterns of play and, and the types of stuff they'd like done which is really good you know continuity sort of thing. Yeah, that kind of synergy between all the age levels you know first team Senior squad and 23s, 18s, all the age groups of the academy. That's that's uh, that's what you want to see from a, from one club, isn't it? You want to have everyone on the same wavelength. Yeah, of course. You know, the the, the uh, obviously main priority at the minute is is huge to get into the uh, the promised land of the Premier League, uh, which you know the first team are are, are doing really well. Um, but they've also had time to sort of pass that down, as you say, to the you know 23s to the 18s, and now you know spreading the word down through the age groups. So you know there's that continuity of of how the game's played. Yeah, and speaking of like you know going down through the age groups, you, you know you've you've been playing a lot of boys who've been uh, like the ones that are out there today. You've been playing competitive football for you in the last few weeks in particular. You know, but even down to boys in the under 15s have been stepping up. So when you start working with them more regularly, they'll they'll already have a taste of uh, of what the under 18s means as well, which is which is great too. Yeah, you know. Um, you know, Lee, Lee Herron's encouraged uh, you know the younger age groups to come training. So Martin Dean has liaised with the school, uh, the Forest School, and we get boys out regular now on a, a Tuesday and Wednesday, so they can train with the scholars just to dip their foot in that hot water uh, and get used to that level and, and tempo. Um, and of course, that's allowing us to release some lads up to the 23s to, to do the same sort of thing. So it's it's, it's really good now the uh, transition from schoolboy into to scholarship. Um, 
and you know we're, we're now playing lads out in the comfort zones you know when they're young it, it's under 18s you know we had a couple of under 15s play the other week so that's that's good for them it, it gives them that idea of what it's all about so that kind of brings us full circle lastly then that is uh, you know for all we talk about the you know the, the games are going to you're going to be playing against these big clubs in these last seven in the elite league you know it's probably going to be some of our younger boys are out there so I'm sure you won't be taking too much stock in how we finish in the league table but more about what kind of experience they get yeah of course you know it's 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 great to be pitting your wits against the, the best young players in the country I'm sure some of those bigger teams will be really trying to win win the league and, and what have you um, what would give me, me most pleasure with the rest of the staff would be if we had uh, you know first years and under 16s in our team and uh, our, our 18s in in the 23s, you know, with, with Mark Cool and, and Jilksy teaching them the next level. Thank you for your time today, Dodsey. We wish you the best of those games too. Lovely. Cheers. Thanks, Dodsey.